Welcome to the Center for Creative Living. Uh, the CCL, as we call it, is a charter of the Universal Church of the Master. And the Universal Church of the Master has their location for their headquarters here in San Jose. So we're lucky to just be a stone's throw away from our parent church. And also, when I say lucky, we have the reverend here that is the president of UCM. We have a trustee, two trustees. Yeah, Ronnie and Janet, three. And Corky. And Joyce. Wait a minute, we have a roll call, I feel like. <laughs> It's a Mickey Mouse Club all of a sudden. Thank you so much. Joyce Brown, Reverend Joyce Brown, could you stand up, please, so we can uh, see your beautiful. Okay, yes. Thank you so much for being here all the way from SoCal. Thank you. Okay, uh, Reverend Corky Whitaker Boone. <laughs> the trustee, Reverend Janet Childs, uh, the trustee. And also, and we have one other, Ronnie, Ronnie was hidden, is hidden all the way over here. Reverend Ronnie Grigsby all the way from Sacramento. Thank you so very much, Ruby, here this morning. We certainly do appreciate it. And as I mentioned, our, our president of UCM, Corey Gott. Yay! Reverend Corey Gott. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here. We, we certainly do appreciate it. Now, I am... So delighted that this service is really dedicated to a dear friend of mine. This dear friend is this wonderful scout, not Scott, scout. <laughs> <laughs> and Scout Bartlett, we, we share the last name of Bartlett in my family, his family, Corky's family. I, I think because Josiah Bartlett had nine sons. And, and signed the Declaration of Independence. So he, we, they, the, the Bartlett name, I'm surprised more people don't have the last name of Bartlett. But so there's kind of a kinship from when we first met, uh -huh, because that has been a long time ago. And what, when I say that, he and I w worked together in a radio station, KNRI in Monterey in 1981. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that's when we first met, and it was one of those like, "Hi there." <laughs> Woo! <laughs> then, then we, then, then we kept meeting in various things and uh, getting to know each other, and uh, eventually, I was on his radio station. I say your radio station, K K N E S T, K N E S T, right? Just K E S T. Yep. Just K E. -S -T. In the ends for knowing you, okay? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Steve. And uh, the, the thing is that, you know, Scout has so many different hats that he wears. And many of you have heard him on the radio because the, and tell me, KEST, it's a um, radio uh, station that's been around for a while, but you've been around longer than anybody else there, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, and what does that mean? Uh, oddly enough, um, the show that I do has been recognized as the longest running major market. That's how we make sure we isolate. Longest running major market personal growth radio show in the nation. Yeah. Yep. And points out that I'm not 20 anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. And so, but that's not all. He has been on multiple TV programs. He has interviewed people from all over the world. Uh, he, he's trained and certified thousands of in, individuals in what he calls his life insights work. And this is amazing because he also does individual psychic readings or for groups or couples even. And uh, what's this about you and uh, d d being the speaker before uh, the 50, uh, what was it, the 2050? The 50 Super Bowl is what I'm saying. Uh, uh, actually, I was the unofficial official um, ESPN psychic for the Super Bowl that was here in the Bay Area. Uh, with the funny part being they did an interview, they put me up on the air, um, but the producer was 
fascist. Um, which is to say he didn't believe I knew anything of what I was doing. Um, and so he edited the show so that it didn't put out any of the predictions that I did about that particular game, and I hit all but one. So had I been a betting person, or had he been a betting person, they would have done well out of it. <laughs> and what's this about, you trained over 300 nurses in your metaphysical oh. energy healing technique? Um, that was a, a Nurses' Day celebration, and, and it, was a, it was a fun story. If, if any of you all remember the movie Good Morning Vietnam, the, yeah. Yeah. the radio broadcasters that weren't Robin Williams, <laughs> I, I walked into this room with, I think 360 some nurses in it um, for this large Nurses' Day celebration, and I, I get got there early. I try to do that so that I can set a space, and I got there early. And the man before me was crouched over the podium and delivering a talk about the trauma reduction work that his organization did. And I thought, oh, man, <laughs> am I going to be a change of pace? Um, so I, I, when it was my turn, I got up in front of him. And before I was done, I, and I, I was partnered and married to a nurse. So I'm also an engineer, so I figure I can make fun of both genres. Uh, but one has to remember that nurses are trained by, nurses are trained by the people that the people at medical college is trained. Um, and, and so frequently they're a little bit linear. Uh, and by the end of that, by the end of my turn in the presentation, which was not quite as monotone, um, I had these kids, I had these women up out of their chairs doing energy boosting on each other, getting a sense of each other's energy, doing energy between their hands. And from what I understood afterwards, Numerous times they would walk up to each other in the nursing station and be doing this energy fluffing that I learned from Betty Beathards, but they would be fluffing energy for each other right there in the hospital. So I, uh, I, I set a different tone for that organization for at least a little while. Yeah, that is great. Yay! Uh, yay. <laughs> and having studied with Betty Beathards and, and uh, uh, having uh, studied with uh, all of these wonderful people, mm. Carrie Howard and Wally Amento, and also Stan Dale and with me when your regenesis healing then all of the things you got through these amazing people you studied with over the years. And then, you know, you you gave me a quote. It says, As spiritualists we know that each lifetime is but a brief spark of time in eternity. We learn and hopefully grow from one lifetime to the next. In creator's infinite intelligence, what we call bad things are simply life's lessons. And I want to say that you have been more than a spark. You are an avalanche of counseling, healing, and spirituality. Yay!